<laughs> Would you prefer opera to be more of a commonplace activity, topic of discussion, you know, frequented by the great unwashed in the world? Sure, of course. Everybody wants what they do to be loved by everybody. Okay. But one of the interesting things about Cincinnati Opera is that when it started in 1920, it was a much more populous activity. Oh, okay. yeah. Because it started in the zoo. I mean, from 1920 to 1971, we performed in Cincinnati Zoo, in a pavilion that was, at first, much more glamorous than a bandstand. So, I run into people to this day who either, you know, met their wife or their husband, future husband, future wife at the zoo, Guys used to usher at the zoo because they knew that it was a place where pretty young unattached girls could come unescorted because they felt safe there. So the usher could hit on them actually and get a date. Yeah. So even back in 1925, it was a place where the social was as important as the artistic. So yeah, I mean, it, and one of the things that I'm excited about about working for the opera is even today, we have the youngest median age audience of any performing arts institution pretty much in the country. Wow. Yeah. Our median age is at least five or seven years younger than most Africa. My goodness. I, I, that makes a big difference. There's a huge difference in that generation. That well, five yeah. years is everything. Yeah. There are people five years younger than me that I, I can't even understand what the time is. Well, I, 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 one of the things I love about going in the lobby, stupid. Well, so come to a performance and stand in the lobby of a music hall on an opera night, and you will see everybody from teenagers in blue jeans and t-shirts to teenagers dressed up the nines to everybody up to grandparents. Everything in between. You allow blue jeans and t-shirts? Hell yes! I didn't know that. I didn't know Because what my next question was, um, that the traditional idea of opera to like someone like me, who's kind of a dirtbag, is it, um, it is for the wealthy and the fancy. And, um, and I was going to ask you, is is that the way it should stay so it doesn't become polluted with people who don't know about it? Oh no, 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 that's bullshit. No, totally bullshit. Okay, well, because. Opera in its greatest heyday in the middle of the 19th century was the